And here we are in the DX version. I know, it looks exactly the same. If you look, I've got the light speed shoes because I'm too lazy to play through the entire file again. Now, we could just walk out there and do the fun little snowboarding section, which, granted, would be fun enough, but let's do something a little more interesting. If you run back here to the beginning, you'll see it's blocked by a wall. However, if you switch it to free camera, something only the DX version, if I'm not mistaken, offers, you can see through the walls. That's called bad clipping. Actually, they never expected anyone to do this in the original game, and since this is oops, just a port of the original game with some extra features and a debug mode for no reason. Check um, Sonic Hulk for that one. But, um, <laughs> it's, um, you know, an, its own game in its own right, whatever, etc., blah, blah, blah. It's, um, they never thought that this would happen or never prepared for it. So, yeah, you can do this a lot, in fact, and see that most of the time when you're running through a tunnel, you're running through the only bridge in the entire existence. And, oh, look, an icicle. Anyway, um, where is that spot? Somewhere along here, there's a spot where if you run at it long enough, you're going to start seeing Sonic's head popping out. It's the, one of these. Oh, it's uh, this one, I think? Yes? No? Maybe so? Maybe it's over here. Is this it? Somewhere. Cue the Benny Hill music until I find it. There we go. Okay. That didn't take long. Voila! Now, this hole is apparently where two corners meet or something like that. So, as you can see, oh, we've got a very glitchy looking Sonic uh, popping in and out uh, off the ledge. So the ledge is rather thin too. Now if we zoom forward, I said zoom forward, we become unclipped. Hang on. There we go. So, running at it like this, you just sort of um, spin dash, and eventually you pop out like this. That was totally unintentional. Anyway, uh, somewhere along here, when we hit the white, hit the white, thank you. Uh, somewhere along this path, maybe I'm a bit too far in a certain direction, something like that. Yes, maybe. The pl oh, there we go. As you can see, we're falling into the stage. Yep. Anyway, um, as far as getting up there to the top area, I've never done it, but I know it's possible if you watch some videos. There are people who collect every ring in the stage, stupid stuff like that. And there go our little uh, spaceship friends from wherever, if you heard them. Um, and, yeah. So, you're running through this area. That's the main glitch here. Uh, obviously. Um, you can look and see that a lot of this bad clipping, bad collision detection. Not that it's bad when you're snowboarding through it, because the snowboard is shaped in such a way so that it doesn't matter. But, <laughs> very obvious that they didn't perfect this when they were, um you know, going through when you're running. Um, at any rate, we, uh, this is our way through the, by the way, this bridge, tons of holes in it. I'm surprised Sonic isn't falling through because his shadow is still there in a circle, no less. Anyway, you can just run off this edge or whatever, but I, I enjoy taking the upper route as, on the snowboard, so I'll take the upper route now. Now, Normally, when you get down here, there should be music, and the timer should be moving. It's not. This is by far the easiest way to get a um, timer to just be incredibly low when you finish the stage, a.k.a. finish within a certain time limit. Now, they give you four and a half minutes, and no matter how much time I waste here, I will always be at that time of 121.06. Anyway, um, now, say you want to get back up the hill. For whatever reason. Just spin dash in this corner. Again, this only works to the best my knowledge in the, dream, in the uh, game, uh, GameCube version. The DX version might work in the original GameCube, but it definitely doesn't work on the Xbox Live version. There we go. Okay. And up we go. 
Now the camera is horrible for this because we're in free camera. If we had an auto camera because of the way this game was programmed, we'd probably be running most of this backwards. Now if you saw there, that wall is actually a solid object you can run up. We're going to be abusing that glitch in a tiny bit. Let me get to the top, wherever the top is. Thank you. Okay, so just like we did in Emerald Coast, uh, if I stop flying the side of it, there we go. Just like we did in Emerald Coast, we're going to be running up the side of this mountain. It takes a couple of tries to get it right. You need to go up at a certain place, and you need to come out on a certain place. There's a couple of these sort of like certain places. At any rate, if you, it, just in case you wanted to run through here, but didn't want to have to break through the wall, you could just finish the stage normally by snowboarding, of course, and the music will be playing, the timer will be going, and you can make your way up here. Now, I, like I said, I've seen people break through that wall, turn around so fast they somehow end up in the top section. I personally have never been able to do it, mainly because I suck at like glitches like this, but yeah, it works at any rate. If we continue up here, we can see that, wait for it, there is a solid wall. I wonder if I can actually go into AutoCam for this and look up at the solid wall. That's also solid up there, but when you look at it from here and across, there's absolutely nowhere on it you can run. So you're basically stuck, unable to go further. I bet I could glitch through one of these corners or something. But you can't get any higher in the level. You're kind of stuck down here. At any rate, just run back down again and everything should go smoothly. I, I, I guess. Depends on how you look at it. But, um, also, another related glitch. While you're here, you might as well do this. Go on this slope so that you're on this incredibly pointy corner. Spin dash and or jump. Actually, sorry, spin dash. Yeah, there we go. And or jump at the same time. You can if it works. Sometimes you don't need to. That's what I'm trying to say. Anyway, there's a gigantic gaping hole here. Now, if you look down there, there's our shortcut. Now, if we dodge this shortcut, we'll die. But if we go into the shortcut area, we end up back in this level. Actually, I'm sorry, you won't die. You'll fall forever. Logic at its best. Go, Sonic Adventure. Now the controls are incredibly slippery during this part, and I absolutely hate it for that reason. However, um, it works well for the snowboarding spec section. Speaking of which, here's the 360 version! Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well... I'm not sure if you saw that, but I basically came off the ramp and literally flew right into the Chaos Emerald. So Sonic is floating in midair. Goody. Um, yeah. So as you saw in the DX version, I'm hoping I was able to cover this. There's a lot more glitches in this stage, but we're going to ignore those for the 360 version. In the meantime, Xbox Live for the win, by the way, in case you couldn't tell from the opening. Um, this is... Yeah, Ice Cap Zone. Not only that, but this level down here that we can't get to yet, but I'll show off later. Actually, I won't even get to it, really, because you'll see why. Um, that's not just Red Mountain. Act 2 of Red Mountain, that is the underground part with the awesome screaming music and the guitar that rocks everything. Um, that is really, um, let's see. That'd be Lava Reef Act 1. Yeah, Lava Reef Zone from Sonic three and knuckles um so that was pretty impressive at least um the now most people don't get that but red mountain is lava reef ice cap is ice cap um the mystic forest you know that jungle that everyone got lost in where there's an emblem big's house and lost ruins or uh lost world all, all located in that one area that's angel island and that's a uh, sand hill that we've got down there in the um Oh no. It's a uh, sand hill that we've got down in um Oh no. The chaos emerald. The sand hill that uh, in that cave whatever somehow Sonic is supposed to be getting into it and I still don't know how. Um 
Well, that cave area that somehow becomes a desert, I'm not exactly sure how, that's, um, Sandopolis Act 1. You know, the outside part. For some reason, you're boarding. Why? Because Sonic liked Ice Cap, apparently. Um, and Lost World is Hidden Palace Zone. Or... I guess you could argue that it's uh, Sandopolis Act 2 since it's so close, but I wouldn't say so because there's no ghosts. Sandopolis Act 2 is really all the pyramidy stuff from Sonic Adventure 2. Uh, I'll get into that when we get there. In the meantime, um, this yeah is Sonic Adventure 1. Now, there's a possibility that you can get a fourth... Um, hit in on Knuckles in that little mini boss. I didn't actually get get a chance to capture it on film here, but it's pretty fun just to you, know, you the counter says zero and yet you get and say, oh no, in that really, really dumb tone again. Oh well. Anyway, why don't they question why Chaos is twice the size he was before? I mean, isn't anyone gonna question that? Or am I the only one who wonders why the you know they didn't show the transformation into Chaos 2 until Knuckles' story. Anyway, this is a lovely boss that for some reason can go underwater, but we can't. Which begs the question, why is Sonic behaving like Jesus in this game? It makes sense, I guess you could say, in um, in, an, in Unleashed when he's running on the water, because isn't there like a gecko that can do that? But in this game, he literally just stands in the water uh, before he loses rings. Oh no, stand breaking physics somehow caused me to lose rings. Now, I don't mean because you get hit. I mean, like, something like chaos controls the water. I don't know, T-Call explains it if you die enough. Apparently, touching the water will hurt you. I don't get how that works. But chaos can control the water or something stupid like that. There's a timer set on it, though. You get around, like, I don't know, five seconds and then you get hurt. Something like that. Again, I'm not going to bother capturing that on film because, I don't know, I find it a waste of time. At any rate, are you going to surface chaos? Thank you. Now, I'm pretty sure it's possible if you hit chaos at the right angle and then homing attack off at the right angle, it's possible to end up right on a lily pad. So it's actually possible, I'm pretty sure, and I want somebody to you know, make a video of this. It, to, um, defeat, it's completely possible to defeat Chaos with ever, without ever going into the water. That'd be good for, like, um, I don't know, a Sonic Adventure movie. You know, is the one that hasn't been made yet that actually uses realistic whatever. I'm not gonna be doing that. I mean, I, I, I'm making a Sonic the Hedgehog 2006 motion picture, and I've also made a, I, I'm also in the middle of making a, uh, Sonic Unleashed movie that I'm calling uh, Sonic World Adventure for obvious reasons. We have the Japanese title, all that. But, um... At any rate, um... Now, the, um... Whoa. Uh, hi. Uh, I'd like to show off my green sombrero here. <laughs> yeah, apparently he's got a green sombrero now. It's made out of lily pad stuff. At any rate, CGI! I don't know, the, the, um, the cinematicness behind this game is great and all, but you can't get rid of the music, which is the only reason why I'm not going out and doing this as a movie, too, because this would be a great movie. Uh, Sonic Movies and, uh, what's his name, Tiger27, I believe, have already, or 21, have both already proven that, um, you know, a Sonic game can be transformed into a movie. But I can't get rid of the music in this. So I can't do a movie because I don't feel it'll be perfect unless I can actually edit it on a regular basis. 